Hollywood Escort Bureau. A young lady for this evening? Why, yes, we can take care of you. Just a moment. I bet. <laughs> I understand, madame. Oh, yes, indeed. We run a highly respectable bureau. Our male escorts are... Oh, they was with your own brother. The charges will be $10 for the escort plus transportation, and you pay all bills. And he'll call for you any time you want. Yes, madame. We have a young man. Dark hair, good character, romantic. Just a moment, please. And oh, I'm sorry. You girl? Oh, yes, sir. Our girls are so beautiful, the motion picture producer always trying to sign them up. You know, the most beautiful girls in the world. Just a moment, please, and I'll give you the appointment desk. Howard Bureau, hello. You have a complaint. <gasps> One of ours? Oh, no, you must be mistaken. Oh, oh, you want to speak to the manager? Well, just a minute. Mr. Nolan, I have a complaint. I don't care who it is, I'm out. Take the number. Yes, tell them I'll call. And tell Rita when she comes in, I want to see her. It's a second complaint this week. And don't bother me again, I'm busy. Hey, you see what I mean? Never forget the customer's always right. Well, Mr. Nolan, you told us not to let anybody get fresh. Sure, sure. This is a very uh, respectable business. Oh, yeah? Certainly. Of course, every now and then, a girl has to think uh, on her feet. But when should a girl say no to a fella? When they stop being gentlemen. Oh. All right, Professor Quiz, now you answer one. What is a gentleman? Yeah, you wouldn't know. Say, who do you think you're talking to? Listen, dearie, the boss doesn't like temperamental dames, and if oh, you All right, like... skip the lecture. <laughs> And what I said goes for you, too. Oh, I think you're wonderful, Mr. Nolan. But I still don't know. When is a gentleman not a gentleman? Look, honey, if you know that by now, you're never going to find out. <laughs> Hello? Here, give me that. I told you not to bother. Oh, yes, I'm sorry, boss. I didn't... There's your party. Hollywood Escort Bureau. Oh, Mr. Smith. You bet we can, Mr. Smith. Hey, but I can't. I've got to attend a director's meeting tonight. But I was cutting on you. Here it is, I have a free in my hands, and everyone I call is either busy or out of town. I have it. Call this number and ask for a beautiful blonde. All right. Hollywood Escort Bureau. Just a minute, now connect you with the appointment desk. Goodbye. Yes, boss. Yes, boss. Don't call me at my apartment unless it's absolutely important. If you want me, call Ruth. She'll contact me. You know? Yes, sure, I understand. Now look, there's something I... Hello? Hello? he doesn't do better with the cafe, I'm going to get somebody else. You haven't anything to complain about? No. For your information, I had to pay another $2,500 yesterday. We have to have protection. Now listen, Ruth. You listen to me. In 10 years, we bought the Palace Hotel and the Cafe Martinique. Recently, we've set up a chain of escort bureaus. The boys and girls keep the cafe filled, and business hasn't been at the hotel. Aren't you ever satisfied? Well, that's true. We haven't done bad, but we've got to do better. Money has to roll in, especially to keep this place of yours up. <laughs> this place is an investment. Think what it's done for me socially. That's right. It's given you an entree into all the best homes. That is, to us. Well, just so no one suspects who we really are. 
Don't try to make all the money in the world and they won't. Who's the letter from? Joan. How is she? She's great. But wondering what to do during summer vacation. She's not coming out here, is she? Are you mad? Your business? It's shabby and pretty low. That's the best you can say for it. A kid, don't you, Ruth? June's all I have. All you have? <laughs> you know what I mean. I want her to keep thinking I'm tops. You know, I think I'd die if she ever suspected her mother ran an escort bureau. Well, how could she? You've spent a fortune on her, sending her to Europe on her vacations, keeping her away from here in fashionable schools. Uh. Miss Perkins School for Young Ladies. <laughs> Nothing but the best for my little girl. You know, Greg, I think she's in love. In love? Mm hmm With whom? The boy she met through Miss Perkins. His father. His name's Drake Hamilton. Mmm, I like him. You like him? How do you know? You haven't seen him. Oh, but I have. She sent a snapshot in a letter. See? Hmm. She's getting better looking every year. Yes, isn't she? The boy's a nice looking youngster, too. He'd have to be a nice for my baby. Oh, he would. You're leaving tonight, Drake? I have to. My father's arranged for me to do some special work on the coast. It's going to be lonesome without you. Then you will miss me? You know I... No. Drake, how will I ever be able to live so far away from you? You'll write every day, promise me? I will. If you'll do something for me. Of course. What is it? It was my mother's. She would have loved you. And I know she'd want you to wear it. Oh, Drake. It's beautiful. But you're so cruel. Cruel? Yes. For making me love you so much and then going away. But it's only for a short time. Whatever it is, it'll be too long. Wait. I have an idea. Mother intended spending a month here with me. I'm going to Hollywood and surprise her instead. You mean... Then we can be together and I can meet your mother. It's all settled then? Only I hope moms won't raise a fuss. She shouldn't when she finds out how much we're in love. Darling, I never dreamed I could be this happy. This night's receipts weren't bad. Cafe sold over 200 bottles of champagne. Swell. All the girls were busy and the boys Say, that reminds me. We've got to get a new male escort. Jack's got himself a wealthy widow. <laughs> oh, I see. I think he'll be busy for quite a while. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hello, Mom, darling? June! June, baby! Where are you? Right here in town. I'll tell you all about it when I see you. But I had to call you first. But, but I thought I told you to... Please, darling, don't scold. Now that I'm here, aren't you just a little bit glad? Well, of course, only I'm so surprised. I'll be right down. No, wait. There's something else. Drake's with me. Drake? Drake Hamilton, you remember. I wrote you about him. You're not married. Not yet, but soon. I'll tell you everything when I see you. You don't have to come down for us. We'll take a cab and be right out. Bye. Greg, June's here. So I heard. Come on, take it easy. Want a drink? Please. I'm so frightened. If she should find anything out, I'm going to send her right back. And spoil her fun? You'll do nothing of the sort. But Drake's with her, the boy in the picture. Oh, what about it? Nothing like having young romance around to pep us up. Come on, control yourself. I can't help it, I'm worried. I'll give you something really important to worry about. Picky called me and tipped me off. New district attorney is starting an undercover investigation. 
to find out who's the head of the escort bureaus. But Greg, you told me you've been paying protection. I have. Same old story though, new DA trying to make the front page. This time, we're the goats. Or so he hopes. I knew it. I knew this had happened sometime. But Greg, it mustn't happen now. You've got to do something. Oh, quit acting like a schoolgirl. Nothing's going to happen to us. What do you think we got Breezy for? But you told me they were looking for the head of the bureaus. The real head, not Breezy Nolan. I know, sure. But first they've got to find us, haven't they? Pinky's the greatest little listener in the world. He's got an in where he can report every move to me well in advance. I tell you, I'm scared. Oh, scared silly. Come on, forget it. Just leave everything to me. When Jim and young Hamilton get here, you want to look happy. Promise? Chin up? I'll try. That's a good girl. I'll be back to help you if the going gets tough. Where are you going? Oh, just downtown to my apartment. I'll be back in time for lunch. And you better have something pretty nice. Those kids are probably starved. <laughs> You're not running out on me. Remember, I'm depending on you. Well, I've never let you down yet, have I? <laughs> yes, you have. But if you let me down this time, I'll... No, oh, I won't. So long. A hard winter. Oh, what a night. My head. <laughs> She's just a sap, that's all. You better pull yourself together and get dressed, Blondie. What time did you stagger in this morning? Oh, I don't know. The hands on the clock were stuck. Well, from what I saw, that's the only pair that were. Say, did you see the present her playmate left her? Say, your boyfriend certainly didn't have the paws that refreshes. Sure trademarked you plenty. Oh. And look at that beauty on your shoulder. <gasps> Looks to me like you were out with a tattoo artist. Oh, when did that happen? Excuse me. Hello? No. He's still a live one and a good spender. Keep your eye on him till back. Excuse me, tall dark. Thanks. <laughs> Pull yourself together before Breezy sees you. What's the matter? Ain't I doing what he said? He said, the customer's always right. Yes, honey, but you're supposed to say no once in a while. Dick said no. <laughs> said, no, 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 no. But he said, yes, yes, yes. Well, that's your party, but you're paid in advance? Certainly. You're a smart girl, but you better go back and get it. And this time, put it someplace where it's safe. From the looks of that wolf of yours, I don't know where that would be. Evening, Mr. Hello, pal. Well, at you're... Come on, let's dance. Now, wait a minute. Why don't you go up and wash your face? My face is clean, see? Yeah, but go and wash it anyhow. Because you have such a pretty... That's a good boy. When you come back, we'll have a drink. Okay, it's the best drop of the day. Another spoonful of that gig of water, I'll have to take home. Look at him. He's lost in the jungle. I hope I can find a doctor of the Livingston.
say just kind of time today, Mr. Uh... Antwistle. Elmer Antwistle is my name. Oh. You coming up to Hollywood in the movies? Oh, no. No, I'm just on a sort of a pleasure trip. <laughs> Got awful tired of sticking around the French girls, eh? Yeah. Well, say, maybe a chap. Yes, sir, there's Fifi now. Thief. Fifi, I want you to meet Mr. Antwistle. He kind of likes that ooh-la-la stuff, Fifi. Elmer, this is Fifi. You're on your own, Elmer. Oh, you like the French girls, no? <laughs> Straight in, Polyvo. Yeah, well, I like them, but I don't understand that French lingo. <laughs> that is nothing, but Fifi talks all the time. Maybe you buy a drink, no? Oh, sure, sure. Champagne cocktail, Joe. Champagne, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, fella, sure can't lose egg money here, can he? <laughs> now we, uh, we drink our friendship. Ah, now there's music to make it even more fair. <laughs> sure is exciting, but Paul has told me... I that... sure you know nothing yet. I'd like to come with me and we'd be alone, maybe, no? Well, yeah. But... You well, come with Fifi. Well, I guess it could stay in a little air. It's kind of warm and <laughs> hot and stuff like that. It's going out. Up. Up? Yes. Oh, Paul, he said never to go out with girls that you didn't know. Especially a black beauty, he said. Like... Poor Fifi. She's so what you call them. Hot? Yeah. <laughs> Warm. It... Two hoodies for me, no? Yeah, but Paul, it... Paul, he said that... The... Oh, who he, Paul? Paul? Oh, Paul! Oh, 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 wait for Fifi! No, no, you don't need Fifi. Well, just... It's, it's hot. It's, it's warm. Yes, I know, but Fifi call you off. Oh, I know, but Pa said that you I... You don't like Fifi? Oh, well, yes, I'm uh, sure, but it's... Why you don't kiss her? Well, uh... Call <clears throat> oh, that a kiss? Come, Fifi, show you. Oh! <laughs> but me. It was Mom's. I've hardly had time to look at you. You've grown so tall. Yeah. Beautiful. Getting to be quite a young lady. I've known her since she was Hamilton. Going to be more like mother every day. Am I really? I can't think of anyone I'd rather be like than mom. <laughs> well, of course, that's a matter of the thing. Come on, let's have our coffee. Now, what are your plans? Sure you're not angry with me anymore for barging in? Well, of course she's not, June. As an old friend of your mother's, I can answer for her. She's tickled to death to see you. What about Drake? Anybody glad to see him? <laughs> you will forgive us for neglecting you. Don't pay any attention to her, Drake. That's perfectly all right. I'm sure we're going to be good friends. Thanks, Miss Ashley. I hope so. In a way, I feel responsible for June being out here. He is not. It was my own idea. <laughs> no matter whose idea it was, you're out here now. I'm afraid you'll be lonesome. With you? Moms. What your mother means, June, is that she's frequently out of town. Real estate, you know. Keeps her quite busy. Drake will keep me company then. As much as possible. But don't forget, I have a job to do. Uh, just a lot of work are you doing, Drake? It's pretty confidential. Oh, you mustn't tell us that if you don't want to. It's terribly important. He's investigating the escort bureaus. <coughs> oh, how clumsy of me. Allow me. Uh, tell him about it, Drake. Go ahead. Yeah, yes, uh, tell us about it, Drake. June's far too impressed with its importance. It's really nothing. My dad wangled me an appointment in the district attorney's office. The district attorney's office? Isn't it wonderful? Oh, I'm so thrilled. Don't blame you for being proud of him, June. Drake, go ahead. Well, that's all there is. Well, as to gain some evidence we have on escort bureaus, they're not operating on the up and up. Light roof? Pardon me, Hamilton. You were saying? Well, well, that's about it. My job now is to find the head of the escort bureau. Isn't it exciting? Oh, yes. Uh, very exciting. Well, if I can ever be of any help, let me know. I'm in favor of the move. It's time we got rid of those places. <laughs> yes, it is. Now, if you can bear it, Drake and I have the whole afternoon planned. Oh, where are you going? Drake's going to take me to the horse races. You know, I've never seen one. Then we're going for a long drive, come home, Get dressed and go out dancing. I'm a bit rusty on my nightclubs. Any suggestions? Yeah. I'd suggest the Cafe Martinique. 
Excellent little show, nice dance floor. I think you'll find it a cozy place. Oh, no, oh no. Um, well, of course it is very nice. Well, thanks, we'll try it. Ready, June? All set. Bye, Moms. Bye, dear. Bye, bye. Have a good time. Of all places, why did you have to suggest the Cafe Martinique? I told you. Oh, why not? You know perfectly well what goes on there. Oh, I think that young man will be able to handle any situation. It's been quite a day. The most trying day I've ever known. I'm more frightened than ever now that Drake's after us. Yeah, it was thoughtful of June's little lamb to let us know who the special investigator is. Now we'll know exactly what he's doing because he'll tell us all about it himself. I tell you I won't have June dragged into this. I don't care what happens to us, but I'm warning you, her happiness comes first. Oh, I'm so worried. Don't you think I am? I don't know. Where she's concerned, I don't trust you or anyone else. Wait a minute. We can lead Drake on a wild goose chase until both he and the DA give up. We're perfectly safe now. June will never find out a thing. What more do you want? Oh, I don't know. I'm so worried. Greg, I'm getting out of this business. It was all right when June was small, away from me. But now she's... You'll do nothing of the kind. But I must get out. I'm afraid of what my baby might discover. And if she ever found out her mother was a Nescort operator, I... There's too much involved for you to get out now unless you want to see the whole thing blow up. Then June will certainly find out. And that's what I'm afraid of. That's why I must get out and take her away from all this. You make one move without my permission and you'll wish you never had. Now, come on, buck up. Everything's gonna bite. Just do as I say. Who'd you bet on for this race? Number five, Special Investigator. Special Investigator? I'm Plut Hunch. Why, he's a long shot. Sometimes long shots come in. Come on, Investigator. Bobbling well first, Golden Boy second, Imperial Third, and Investigator. Come on, Investor. Come on, Investor. At the corner, it's Golden Boy by a head. Come on, investigator, come on. Stay right in there, boy. Come on, investigator, come on. Coming into the stretch, it's Golden Boy and Investigator. It's Golden Boy and Investigator. It's Investigator by a nose. You sure do. Well, should we go? We want to take a ride before we go to the Cafe Martinique. Just sit here and feel sorry for all the people who aren't as happy as we are. Shall we? Such heavenly music. And you do dance so divinely, dear boy. Only because you follow like a breeze. You're not only saying that. Oh, you really think so? I'll bet you say that to all us girls. Don't you believe me? Oh, yes, dear boy. I do. I do. Well, shall we... Uh... Seal it with champagne? Oh, by all means. To romance. Ah, romance. To romance. Ah, nurse.
lovely? That's a masterpiece of understatement. You're beautiful. Silly. I mean the dancer. Oh, she's not good, not bad. But maybe I'm prejudiced. Well, be polite and pay attention. Let's go home. So early? It's not early. It's quite late. But that isn't the reason. What then? I want to hold all my happiness and dream about it. All right, darling. Why do all beautiful things have to end? But I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow and all the tomorrows. Evening, Joe. Straight bourbon. business tonight, eh? Best night this week. How's that new little blondie doing? Four bottles of champagne so far. Nice going. Where's the old gal came in the jack? Table in the alcove. See? I've never had such a wonderful time. And you are the cause of it, you dear sweet boy. Uh, well, let's have some more pain. Oh, anything you want. And then, <laughs> let skin. Wouldn't it be nicer if we just sat and talked? <laughs> Drank champagne, that is if you can spare, uh... Oh, why, of course. Why, of course. Why, how stupid of me. What a mess. <laughs> I'll hold it for you. Oh, wait a Another bottle of champagne. Oh, I don't know what's come over me. I'm so excited. I have a feeling that something wonderful is about to happen. <laughs> Such as? Oh, I just can't figure it out. I have the same feeling that I had when my dear husband died and left me a hundred thousand dollars in cash. What? What? I mean, oh yes. Oh yes. Something awfully nice is going to happen. Oh, tell me more. Something especially nice. Oh, if this night could only go on forever. Don't worry, sweetheart, it will. Oh, yes. It will. Oh, believe me. But see, but see. Oh, oh, call me Snuggles. Oh. Bureau? Oh, sorry, Mr. Nolan's gone for the day. May I help you? Maybe. I just came in town. I'm looking for a job as an escort. Mm. Well, there's always a place for a good-looking fellow. You think I'd do? Mm, I'm sure you would. Ever dance work before? No, but I think it's easy to catch on to. Mm -hmm. Good dancer? Passable. Wardrobe? Mm, enough for the present. Mm -hmm. Have you a photograph? Not with me, but I'll bring some down. Well, uh, pick some romantic ones, Mr. Uh, I didn't catch the name. Uh, just call me Speed. Speed Gibson. Mmm, I could do that. No kidding? No kidding. Well, uh, who do I see about a job? Mr. Nolan. Nolan? Hmm, name's familiar. What's his first name? Breezy. Breezy Nolan. Hmm, maybe. Could be the same one. Uh, is he the real owner? Naughty, naughty. Don't ask too many questions. Uh, well, could I see him now? I'm sorry. He's gone for the day, but he'll be in tomorrow. Oh, shucks. I tell you what, what are you doing tonight? Hey, wait a minute, wait till I get a job. <laughs> That's a promise, but that isn't what I meant. Why don't you drop into the Cafe Martinique about uh, 9 o'clock tonight? He's always there. Oh, thanks a lot. Oh, forget it. I'm always glad to lend a hand. I know what it is to be job hunting in a strange town. You're a pal. Uh, Cafe Martinique, is that connected with the escort bureau? Uh-uh. I said no questions. <laughs> okay. Where is it? Right downstairs in the hotel. Just ask anyone for Breezy Nolan. Uh, everybody knows him, eh? Sure. And good luck. Thanks. And uh, don't forget that promise. I won't. <sighs> Gee, if I could get a discount, I'd sure date him up for an evening myself.
Thanks, boss. That hits the spot. Sure been a swell week, boss. Everything's going great guns. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. Pinky call this morning. Again? Yes, I told you. Sure, I remember. The day Roots kid and the Hamilton fella came to town. Say, boss, you know, that fella's been snooping around the cafe asking a lot of funny questions. Yeah? Yeah. He thinks he's an investigator. I don't suppose he's found much so far, eh? Well, I don't know, Breezy. He might have. That is, if Pinky's right. Why? What did Pinky say? Hamilton's going to call the escort bureau. He's going to hire a girl for the evening. I get it. Business and pleasure combined, eh? No, just business, Breezy. Just business. He's going to try to find out if the escort bureaus are, uh, well, shall we say, flexible? <laughs> You're killing me. Flexible? And how? What else? Just a little bit of trying to pump whoever we may send up. Trying to find out who controls this business. That is, if the girl knows and talks. Ah, those dames don't know anything. Suppose one of them did know something. Suppose one of them knew and sang. And the DA could hang Ruth and me in five minutes. Could be. Got something in mind? Mm, maybe. Pinky said the call would come through under the name of uh, Mason Grant. Mason Grant. Yeah. I get it. He didn't know the time or place, but as soon as he found out, he let us know. So what? Just this. We're going to fix Mr. Drake Hamilton or Mason Grant up with something extra special. Something extra special. Well, there we were, wrestling in the cab. So finally I said to him, You're no gentleman, you big gorilla. I keep telling him that all the time. But it never does any good. Oh, pipe down. Go on, Susie. Well, they finally broke the half Nelson, and I freeze. And then he started to beef, but plenty. Ooh, I always get frightened when they get angry. Will someone strangle weak and willing before I commit murder? You know, sometimes they even try to... Well, anyway, there we were. So finally I said to him, look, what do you want for $10? And before I could do a thing about it, he laid a 20 right in my lap. With his hand still on it, no doubt. Now look, honey, live and let live is my motto. Besides, he wasn't such a bad guy, but you got to know him. But if he wasn't a gentleman, when did you say no? <laughs> Who said no? <laughs> the wolf I was with last night was certainly no Galahad. Oh, no. How would you know? I was there. I was there. Hello. Now, oh, wait a minute. The appointment desk, dear. It's your date for tonight. Oh, let's have it. This is Rita Shute. Where do I meet him? 616 to Pickwick Arms, 730 tonight. Uh-huh. Ralph Singer and he... What did you say his name was? That's what I thought you said. Ralph, kill him. Oh, I like that. I'll murder him. That's what I'll do. What's eating you? The first night he's home in six months. And does he ask me to go out? Well, does he? No. No. No is right. Instead, he calls an escort bureau for a date. So, a guy's a guy and a date's a date. Who is he? Who is he? Who do you think he is? He's my husband. Come in. June. And right on time. So that's what you are. Have you been drinking? No, I haven't been drinking. But if I knew who he sent up here, I'd have drowned myself in it. What do you mean, if you knew who was... World. Darling, what are you talking about? I'm only here because you sent for me. But I didn't know they'd send you. I didn't know I'd see Did you. You've out of your mind, Drake Hamilton. If I have, you can thank yourself. I asked you to marry me. I didn't ask you to, did I? No. I was the fool who offered it. Put it without knowing you were an escort girl. The kind that belongs to whoever has a price of an escort. How dare you say that to me? What else does a girl from an escort bureau expect? But I didn't know I... I swear there is. Listen to me. Don't lie. You've sunk low enough without adding lies. I'm not the only one who lied then. What about you? You told me you'd be busy. 
and I believed you. Is that why you were available tonight? Is that why they were able to send you when I called for an escort? You little cheat! How many others have there been before me? Keep your hands off me. Now I know you're insane. Escort bureaus have become an obsession with you. Will you answer me? I won't, because no matter what I said, you'd only believe what you want to. Answer me! Don't you dare touch me. I never want to see you again. I hate you! And you can have your own reason. I never knew anyone could be as low as you. Really? You'll find your disgusting down. I didn't come here to visit. Well, then if I'm too inquisitive. You know perfectly well what I'm here for. Drake. Oh, Drake. So I'm to thank him for the pleasure of your company. That's very considerate. Don't try evading. It's true, isn't it? Now that all depends. What? You know perfectly well what I mean. You tricked me into going to Drake's suite. He wasn't expecting me. But he believed what his eyes told him. Well, can you blame him? I did then. I don't know. At first I was too stunned to understand. After I left him... He believed the worst when you knocked at his door. Well... Too bad for my heart which you broke. Because he'll never believe me now. Should he? After all, a girl from an escort bureau? Don't you dare say that. You know it isn't true. But I do know something that is true. It's so clear I wonder I couldn't see it before. You're the man Drake's been... May I ask how you arrived at it? Who wanted Drake to think the worst of me? Who wanted to stop his investigation the only way you thought it could be stopped? Who knew he was going to call for an escort? It was you, Gregory Stone. A rare combination. Intelligence and beauty. Well, now that you've added up two and two... I'm going to see that Drake gets four. It won't give him back to me. But his success is far more important. Not that it's any of my affair, but just how are you going to pin medals on Drake if he won't do it himself? By exposing you to the district attorney. You're the man Drake's been searching for. Did anyone ever tell you how beautiful you are when your eyes sparkle? I will, I tell you. I just wanted you to know your little plot blew up in your face, that's all. Anna, one last thing before you go. There's nothing I want to hear from you. Ah, uh, but you will. Let me out of here. Not until you've heard the rest. Then you can present the complete solution to the district attorney. Let me go. As soon as you've heard the name of my partner, whom the district attorney is equally anxious to discover. You're lying. It's a trick to shift the blame to somebody else. I don't want to hear it. Well, uh, but you will. I won't listen. You will, and so will the district attorney. My partner is your own mother. That's a lie. A lie! Don't you dare say that! Your own mother, I said. No! <laughs> Couldn't be! <laughs> no! <laughs> That's the truth. Your mother and I have been partners for years. Why do you think she's kept you away in fashionable schools? Where do you think the money came from to keep you there? To buy her beautiful home, her clothes, your clothes, her jewels. I don't believe it. Well, I can prove it by your mother. It isn't so. It couldn't be. Not my mother. I won't believe it. Your I said is my partner. She started as an escort girl herself ten years ago. I won't believe it. Now go ahead and tell the district attorney. Tell him who I am. And tell him who your mother is. Go ahead. Oh, Mums, you. Now there's nothing left to live for. Hello, 
Operator, get me a taxi. I want to go to the Palace Hotel. Feel better now? I wish I'd die. Everything's smashed. Well, it's not quite that bad. It isn't the end of the world. Might as well be. I know how you feel. All dead inside. Everything burned out. But you've got to learn to face facts, June. Your mother couldn't keep you in ignorance forever. Yeah, drink this. I don't want anything. Come on, drink this. It'll put some heart back in you. Heart? What good would that do? I'd only get it back so it could be smashed again. It needn't be. You've got your eyes open now. Oh, I know you've been hurt. But a smart girl doesn't get hurt twice. I know you think that life isn't worth living right now. You're young, you're beautiful, and time heals everything. We'll never heal this, never. Just because you lost faith in your mother and... Don't talk to me about her. I hate her. Well, maybe it wasn't all her fault. It was. Well, whether it was or not, you still have to go on living. Living? There isn't anything left to live for. Oh, yes, there is. You listen to me. You've got to stop thinking about others and start thinking about yourself. Forget your mother. If she hadn't forgotten you, you wouldn't be in this position now. No, would you? No, you're right. Of course I'm right. You listen to me and everything will be okay. How about another little drink? Why not? Hollywood Escort. Girl. Yes, we have both men and girls. Just a minute. Is Breezy Nolan in? Why, uh, I don't think so. I'll see just a minute. Never mind. Oh, wait, you can't. Wait a minute. You can't go in there. You tell that little dummy, if I have one more complaint, I'll throw her out in her ear. What I'm saying? Hello? Hello? Hey, what's the big idea? How'd you get in here? Never mind how I got in here. You stop talking before I throttle you. Hey, wait a minute, you got the wrong guy. But the right guy for my purpose. You're supposed to be the head of this escort bureau, aren't you? Yeah, sure, but let's... Shut up! You sent a girl up to 1224 Argosy Hotel? Yeah, sure, but... Hey, you're Mason or Hamilton. You're the guy. I'm the guy, all right. outfit. I, I'm the one. You're lying. You're only the front for someone higher up. If you don't talk, I'll break every bone in your body. Who is it? It's, <coughs> it's Gregory Stone. Gregory Stone. Where is he? Prentice of Providence. 404. Where did June go after she left me? I don't know. Tell me or I'll pull it out of you. <coughs> She's with Greg in his apartment. Quick. Mr. Nolan, I, I'm awfully sorry that the band got by. I couldn't do anything about it. Oh. See how much better you feel now? Better? I'll show you how to get all you can out of life, June. 
Life is hard and pitiless, and you have to face it the same way. But that takes courage, because I haven't any left. Oh, of course you have. There are ways to beat life and come out on top. Are you cold? Cold inside. Yeah, I'll fix that. Now, you just relax. Forget about everything. District attorneys, me, and your mother. And... Don't want to talk about her, I said. All right, we won't talk about her. Shall we talk about Drake? Don't want to talk about him, either. He said I was no good. No, but you are. No, no. He's right. I'm no good, just like my mother. Don't want to talk about nothing. Trouble with you is you're sobering up. Have another drink. So want another drink. Come on, come on. This is the stuff that'll fix you up. You? Now, 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 listen, Ruth. So that's why you sent me out of town. Wait a minute. You, you don't understand. I understand plenty. I understand why you wanted the key to your apartment back. Well, never mind that. What's the idea of walking in here like this? Don't pull any of that on me, Greg Stone. You didn't think I'd come back so quick, did you? Who is that over there? I wouldn't, Ruth. Get out of my way. Wait a minute. I can explain everything. As if I'd believe you. I want to know who... Well, you want to know who it is, eh? Well, take a good look. June! Yes, little June. Your oh. sweet little daughter. Take a good look so you won't forget. You stay out of this, June. Let me handle it. Let me alone. Oh, June, darling. Don't keep your hands off me. I'm no good, but you're worse. Oh. Do you hear? Worse. June, what are you doing here? What is the matter? What's happened to you? Didn't think you'd find me here, did you? Why shouldn't I be here? Oh, June, baby. Baby? What have you done to her? Greg, what have you done to her? What do you care? What's wrong with my being here? Am I any better than you? I guess I can be an escort girl if I want. Escort girl? June, baby! Baby? Huh. Not anymore. From now on, I'm little June. Like mother, like daughter. Oh, June, dear. He hasn't been telling you. Oh, no, dear, you mustn't believe him. Listen to me, it isn't true. It is. I know it. You know it. Drake knows it. Don't try to lie out of it. Oh, no, no, not Drake. If he doesn't know by now, he will, sooner or later. He'll find out how low you are. Well, no matter what I am, dear, you're sweet and good. Drake couldn't believe it. When he finds out who's at the head of the escort bureaus... Oh, listen to me, honey. You, you don't understand. There's no use lying, Ruth. She knows everything. You told her. You told her! Well, I had to. She was going to expose us. You told her. Well, don't you understand? She was going to tell the DA. Drake thinks she's in with us now. What made him think that? Answer me! How did Drake... I'll tell you how. Drake wanted evidence. He called for an escort. He knew Drake was going to call. He talked me into going as one of your girls. And Drake thought that... Yes. Oh. That I was an escort girl. I hate you. Oh, no, honey. No, you don't know what you're saying. You've been drinking. Sure, I've been drinking. To try and forget my broken dreams. And you, who helped break them for me. I didn't. I swear I didn't. I tried to keep it away from you. You tried. I did. But not hard enough. So I haven't anything left. Nothing. June, baby, I swear I'll straighten out everything. Only believe me again. Trust in me. Trust you. I never want to see you again. I hate you. Oh. June. I want you to get out of here. Go home. I won't go home. And I'll keep drinking until I forget I ever had a mother. Do anything you want, but get out of here. You mustn't be found here if anything happens. Now get out. All right. I'll go. I'm glad to get rid of the sight of you. 
I never want to see you again. Never. Never as long as I live. Greg. Doesn't do much exposed. No. Never. Well, I had... Are you crazy? Put down that gun. Not until we've had a little talk. It's time. Are you out of your mind? I am. But you're not June's life. Well, I have to save our next. I'm not thinking of Drake. Oh, she'll get over it. She's young. Yes, and she has a right to a youngster. She gets it. That's what mothers are for. Will you put down that gun? Not until you want to the... Not until you to Drake... Now you, June, Drake, are all put together. I'll give you, Meg. Just one... Great. June. Escort girl. Escort girl. June. Great. Tell them everything and have them swoop down on us? Oh, just building up the... I've worked for. I worked for June to give her a... That's why I schemed to ensure her happiness. And I won't have you... Why don't you use your head, Ruth? If Drake didn't know the truth, he wouldn't have her now. Not when he finds out her mother's running out. Don't you say it! Well, it's the truth. You know it. What good would it do to tell now? It'd help Drake understand the truth about my daughter. Well, maybe. Why don't you put on the gun and talk sense? Have a cigarette. Keep back or I'll... Your mother's ring. This it will never leave my finger. It's more than that. Much more. It's only one ring, but it encloses the love of two months. Mine 